And just make sure you time your attacks. Take your time. Don't rush this because if you get hit by him, he will heal up a lot. This is the best spot to wall check. So you just walk out and do damage to him. As long as you just stack them together, you'll be able to wall check both of them. Let's also loot this as well. And we got some round lights from that chest. Today we're checking out the new update as well as we're going to the Hidden Rich Farm on our free-to-play account. And you guys are definitely gonna like this new location. And the reason for that is because, do you hear the zombies? Help us get rid of them before they surround us. Basically, in this new area, we have a temporary event that will last for, let's say, about 11 more days. I'm doing this kind of late, by the way, so that's why it's 11 days. Normally, this should last 15 days. I brought myself some torches over here so we can deal with these ice zombies. In this new update, last day on Earth now brought ice armor zombies, and they can only be broken with basically burning weapons that deal fire damage. So if it has an icon like this with a bullet and a snowflake icon, that means it will basically do the amount of damage that it's supposed to do. So let's say torch. If I crouch attack, that's 12 multiplied by 3, and that's 36 damage. And punching does only 3 damage, so it's reduced damage. It's basically like armor-piercing zombies. So I'm just gonna crouch attack them with the torch, unequip it, and... Or, I mean, yeah, the burn damage is gonna kill them itself. This is why I brought the torch. The torch is gonna be amazing for killing these zombies. So I'm basically gonna do that. The torch is what? Five logs and one hide and two rope to craft, so it's not that hard to get a torch. I highly advise you guys to use it because it's gonna save you some resources. And of course, whenever you equip a torch, make sure you swap it to the hotbar because that is just using the durability. So our goal is to kill three more zombies. Let's get on doing that. Make sure we got the torch on and boom. I mean, this guy just literally kills them. Look at that. He just literally kills them for you. Thank you, man. Let's talk to the Elder, okay? I cannot really do anything because he's just yanking my kills. There's a lot of them, isn't it? We go to a new lens, but they find us every time. But we don't want to leave here because there's a source of heat. Okay, so there's this boiler. We have to power and connect pipes through the houses with, to this boiler. Doing that, we will get rewards and reputation, I believe. So let's fire this thing up. Boom. Here we go. Let's click on these pipes. Click on heating. This just basically shows you a mini tutorial that you need to connect three pipes here in order to connect it to this thing. Once you do that, it's going to start working. So let's connect them like that. And I'm going to show you guys the best way to connect these pipes, the cheapest way as well. So in this update, they introduce incendiary ammo. And the only way right now to get this incendiary ammo is by going to this workbench in the gunsmith house. And this is where you will mod your weapons. We've been in the north for so long, we've learned how to make special ammo. And the way to modify it is you will need thermite which the game wants us to go to the icy junkyard so let's go there now the game also adds a new weapon which is it's called scorcher it does 35 damage and is pretty fast at shooting and you can get it only from doing the event right now and the molotovs as well are obtained from elder rewards this is the new location it's not permanent it's only temporary let's go there and i'm gonna show you guys some cool things that's happening here all right we are now officially in the icy junkyard this is where you will get mainly your materials, your lights, your thermite, and other stuff. So you can actually wall trick zombies over here, which is in this spot right here, just like that. Except this wall is kind of hard to use because you have to move very far away in order to dodge the attack, which is literally standing here to avoid the damage. So you will want to wall trick these fat bloaters. Let's just crouch everything here, and with this torch, we will be able to do one crouch attack, and after that, I can just finish them with a whatever weapon you want, crowbar or fists or whatever. And make sure you don't waste the torch durability. So I'm going to hit them like this, unequip it and just punch them two times. I think I'm also wearing too good armor for this, so it's not that big of a deal because these zombies are literally level, what? These zombies literally have 40 HP. Anyways, let's loot our first box that we get here and we're going to get five thermites. You will need 15 thermite to modify your weapons. So, yeah, make sure to collect them. And we got some lights and other stuff. I do need to take these leather and scrap, I think. I'm going to take whatever and we'll see how it goes. There is a zombie here that will crouch. Okay, I cannot. I cannot crouch. I'm just going to kill him. Okay, the zombie's going to die by burn damage. Make sure we loot the car here. I don't need the whiskey, actually. You also do not freeze here, so don't worry about freezing here, even if you're naked. I know it makes no sense because this is literally a snowy location, but yeah, since it's an event, we shouldn't be freezing pretty much. Okay, and you need an iron pickaxe here, which I do believe I have in my inbox. So what I'm going to do is put some stuff in the chopper, like let's say... 
Okay, I cleared my inventory a little bit. Let's get to grinding this location now. So in inbox, I have a iron pickaxe. So let's go to tools, grab the iron pickaxe and smash this thing. Open for our pathway to clear. All right, we're done. It broke. Clean this wildling, wildling up. Dead. All right, make sure to loot everything because it's going to be annoying to reload everything. Okay, this guy is running, but he's doing three damage. That's fine. This torch is literally going to save you here. You need that torch, man. Boom. Okay, so if there's too many enemies, I believe you cannot crouch attack them here because all of them will aggro you together. So let's say I uncrouch, two of them just aggro you, which is fine. That's completely fine. There is possibly a wall trick here. They can wall trick here, but it's kind of um, complicated to wall trick here. So I'm going to have to like tank the zombies here for now. I could also equip worse armor because right now I am wasting my armor here. So I'm just going to kill them as it is. Like so. Let's crouch tag this guy as well. Torch is W right here. We literally need a torch for this. You need a torch for this. It's going to save you a lot. Because look at this. If I use a crowbar, it does only 8 damage. So a crowbar is not that good here. We're going to loot everything. And take all. Make sure you leave nothing behind here. Because I will definitely need these resources here. Also, I will need berries to make berry tea. But for now, it's fine. So here's our first um, floater bloater that we just encountered. I'm going to kill the small zombie first. Since we got 15 thermite, 15 thermite is what you need to craft yourself a ice breaking or ice piercing or incendiary weapon. So we have to talk back to the gunsmith now. It gives you a simple tutorial on what is going on here. Now we have everything we need to make incendiary ammo. So take everything from the box. You deserve it. So let's grab whatever this dude gave us. He gave us a gun. Um, before I do anything here, let's actually open the blueprint. We got a drum magazine, which is garbage. Sadly, I am not going to learn that. And we got two lights. What I'm going to do now is um, let's finish talking with the gunsmith dude. And as you can see, you can decorate your houses here. So in this main barn, I guess, this is the elder. And you can get rewards from him. On the final reward, you actually can get a tactical backpack and this division box. Which this division box, you can actually store mechanical parts uh, like aluminum, air filters and other stuff up to 300. Which is nice. You also get a drone blueprint. And you also get a Scorcher, you get Carbon, and you get 10 factory parts. The best thing from this reward is obviously the Tactical Backpack. And if you want a new outfit, well, it also gives you an outfit, which is this. For now, since I brought the Reputation items, we can actually get these 20 thick fabrics. I'm going to put the blueprint away. 20 jerkies as well. I'm going to give it to this guy right here. So drag this in and drag the jerky in. Now I need berry tea. I don't have berry tea yet, so we'll wait. And the tasks wants us to decorate the gunsmith's house. So now we can do that like it. Let's just do that. Fill it up and grab all of these lights back. Grab my heels back. I'm going to put whatever I don't need in the box. We also got this holiday case. All right, so we need to decorate this thing. We don't have enough lights to do so. So what we're going to do is go to this gunsmith workbench. As you can see, you can modify a cold python which is 10 thermite uh, shotgun for 15 thermite or a Winchester for five. Now, I do recommend modifying either the shotgun or Colt. I'm going to go with the Colt for now. I don't have mods on it, but let's just do that. And of course, if you want to wait, you can wait, but we can skip ads. So I'll do that. All right, we have put the thermite on the gun. And as you can see, now it has dragon's breath ammo, which means it's going to do literally this. It's going to shoot fireworks out of your shotgun and basically melt these frozen bloaters. Give the case to the elder's assistant. Let's actually give the case right now. It just literally wants us to do that. So give it right there. We did level up two levels and I can already claim the rewards. You also get a flare gun for the first time. So, I mean, if you don't want to thermite your shotgun or something, just use flare guns. They will work as well, just like so. So we're back at the icy junkyard. Let's now go all the way to the left. I'm actually going to use self-healing to heal up fully so I don't waste my heals. There's this guy. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wall check him. So basically, I need to get him to stand in the middle of the car, which is in front of the hood. And once you do that, you just wall check him right here. This is the best spot to wall check. And if he goes further than this in the middle of the car, it's not going to work anymore. So... This is the only way to do it. So you just walk out and do damage to him like so. Make sure you don't make him move. Otherwise, if you do, 
is gonna end up badly. So this is the best spot to wall check this frozen bloater. If you do this, then congratulations. You do not, you do not need to use weapons at all. You do not need these burning weapons. And as you can see, he did his double attack. He does this double attack between 150 HP. I think, and between 8 HP. He's gonna do a double attack right now. As soon as I do damage to him like this. Look at this. Okay, do damage now. There you go. He just did it as you saw. And he just healed double. So you gotta be careful when dealing with this guy. Now he won't do any more double damage or double attacks. So we're fine. This is how you deal with these frozen bloaters. You get them to stand exactly here. They're punching this corner right here and you're just doing the same thing and over and over to kill him now of course if you use the shotgun that you just put the incendiary ammo on that thing is gonna do a whopping 70 damage to that frozen bloater so if you want go ahead and do that me i'm not gonna do that unless i really have to now let's deactivate this crouch here i'm actually gonna aggro this guy so i can deal with him alone instead of dealing with two mobs at the same time so it's very wise to do so I really suggest doing that. Okay. We dealt... There is a one dude right there above. So I'm going to aggro him and just deal with him alone. Bad news is we do not have enough torches to kill these guys. So I'll definitely need a new torch again. I'm going to aggro this guy first. Deal with him first. Instead of dealing with two mobs again. They're not part of the group. So just aggro one by one and deal with them like so. Now I can deal with this guy. So let's equip our torch. You will get damaged if you're unlucky. If you're lucky, you will not. Just like I did not get damaged there. So, very nice. And you do the same. You lure him over here. Make sure you stand in the corner so he goes like this in the middle and boom. Soon as he reaches the middle of the car, do just walk in. So you can make him stop by making him attack. And that's all you do to kill these frozen bloaters. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what you gotta do. So don't use the wall there. Instead, use this wall here. Or this cars, the stacked cars. You just have to properly position the zombie. If you improperly position him, then uh, GG. You're gonna mess it up, right? He just does that double attack again. As soon as he reaches a certain amount of HP, he does the double attack. So yeah, he's not gonna do it anymore. And finish him off like that. My torch is almost all durability, which is bad, but... It is what it is. Let's go here. 8 HP zombie. Crouch attack. Finish them like so. So if you're lazy, you you don't really have to use a torch. You can use like, I don't know, a skull crusher or something. And I believe that should work fine. I do have a slasher though in my inventory, as you can see. So I'm actually going to take that out. I don't really use slashers anywhere else than laboratory. So, you know, I already gave you guys a full example on how to wall check these guys. So you have an understanding now on what to do and how to use torches only here. Sadly, I will not have enough torches to do this, so you get the point. Now, I'm gonna get this big zombie somehow in the spot here, hopefully. Okay, that works. And as you can see, this is fully wall trickable. He's not able to hit me here. Although he isn't really in a good spot, I need to, like, reposition him somehow. So let's do that. And I'm gonna go here, back to this corner, and there you go. This is a better spot now. Now I'm able to wall check him like so. So, let's now use a slasher. This is going to speed up the process, obviously. As you can see, 45 damage. If you want, just use your torches. It will be completely fine using a torch here, like that. But if you have slashers, just use slashers. It's going to speed up everything here, pretty much. I will break, however, this torch because I just don't need it anymore. So let's just break it. Let the burn damage do its job. He dropped us all blue light. Nice. Make sure you loot everything because if you do skip a chest, you're losing out on some loot. So just do note. Try to loot everything. Boom. We got what? A hockey stick, some nails, which I don't need at all. A USB device, which I might actually skip. A beer. And some more lights. Okay. Cool. Give me my bandages. And we do the same process here again. Aggro this guy. Go back to our car. Rinse and repeat, baby. My armor is breaking, however, but that's fine. Completely fine, because I'm not worried about that. We have wall chicks. Do the same again. Make him go in the middle and walk in, walk out. Keep on wall checking this guy, just like that. Again, you don't need a slasher. You need a torch, right? If you have a torch, use a torch if you have the patience to do so. Wildling fast biter here. So I'm going to actually use my slasher to kill him. 
One shot, crouch attack. I mean, why not? I'll take it, I guess. However, this guy, I can also crouch attack him. Let's do that. The other guy will not notice me. And now, what I'm gonna do here is... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's wait a little bit. Let's deal with this guy first. That comes out of the car. Let's finish my torch. If you actually stutter step to the sides, this guy needs to come closer in order to hit you because the torch range is longer than the zombie attack. So make sure when you attack with the torch, just move sideways. And that's just gonna be, you know, you're gonna take less damage doing so. So I'm gonna crouch attack this guy. And what I'm gonna do next is run away like that. Run away, run away, run away. Get him over here. And once he does that, I'm gonna let him hit me once. My, my pants broke and the game lagged as well. Uh, let's open this gate right here. So all I want to do is just open it. That's all I care for. Just open it. It's open now. I can actually go in here and wall check him. Oop, I messed up. I messed up big time. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. Let's uh, just do our thing, I guess. If you do mess up and there's two of these bloaters chasing you, well, then what you can do is just leave the area and come back and everything will be fine however i'm gonna kill this guy here slasher slash him like that and now i can wall check both of these guys here i believe as long as you just stack them together you'll be able to wall check both of them so let me just do that as you can see they're attacking at the same time the only thing you need to worry about is just you know make sure they don't double attack because one, this guy will start double attacking as soon as he reaches, let's say, 150 something HP. There you go. He just did it. I know how I'm getting hit, but yeah. You get the point, chat. This is basically where the, all the massacre is happening. Like, look, I literally have like 10 million dead bodies of these zombies. Anyways, I'm going to finish this guy with a slasher or a torch like that. Now we have to deal with one more dude. If you're wondering why I'm swapping the torch like that, it's because it literally loses their ability as time passes by. So I'm just swapping it. All right, um, dodge this guy and let's go. So they did drop some lights. Look at this. There's a little like 20 zombies killed here. Looking nice, man. All right, so make sure I loot everything here. Let's grab the lights. I'm actually going to delete the transistors. Let's equip new boots, delete the boots and delete the bolts. This I do not need. Okay, let's make sure we loot everything here. One more car here. Gravity that. We got new boots again. Gonna delete this. I'm gonna grab my crowbar. For now, we will need these batteries for the decorating house. There's gonna be more frozen bloaters here, sadly. I have to kill. So let's just crouch attack him. And now you can wall check here. This is a good spot to wall check, but I don't really like it. But yeah, this is how you wall check here. They have to be standing here. So there you go. It's a little bit of a weird wall check spot, but it works. If the enemy is here or the enemy is here, you'll be fine. You can just walk in, walk out, walk in, hit, you know, and uh, hide behind the wall again. So here, this this is a boss here. What I'm going to do is aggro this guy and do a crouch attack on him. I believe two of these dudes will aggro on you. So you have to fight two of them at once. So what I'm going to do is heal up, gather them here at the wall. And just get them to attack like that at the same time. Make sure it's at the same time. And now we just walk in, walk out, do the same thing. Just make sure you get a crouch attack because both of them, I'm pretty sure both of them will aggro on you anyways. So there you go. Done with that one. And last one is there. He's going to die by that burn damage, I believe. Hopefully. Let's finish him with a crowbar or something. There you go. Save that one slasher hit, you know what I'm saying? And now we need that slasher for this Vendigo. This little sucker right here. Make sure you crouch him. It's going to save you some, uh, you know, it's going to save you some durability. So one hit is going to do 135 damage. Him, when he hits you, he will heal up. So make sure you get him in the proper spot here like that. And just make sure you time your attacks. Take your time. Don't rush this because if you get hit by him, he will heal up a lot. So yeah, look at that. As soon as you hear that zzz, like him hitting the wall, just walk out and hit him. Working perfectly. Using the slasher. Again, you can use a torch here. It does not matter. As long as you're timing your hits, you can easily kill this guy by using either a slasher or torch. Torches is literally now having a use in the game. Before, no one used a torch, but now torches are great for these enemies. So we got ourselves 
some loot that I actually don't need here. I'm not taking this. The loot could be better, honestly, but it is what it is. Here we got also nothing, just some food. So I'm going to open this cr thingy here. As soon as I open this. Um, okay, we got kind of unlucky. There's literally a zombie. A big zombie inside. Uh, that's like the unluckiest spawn you can get of these zombies. So anyways, just... It's okay, you can just stand behind this wall and you're safe. As you can see, all I need to do is walk out, hit this guy. Walk out, hit this guy as well. Wait for his attack. Time it perfectly and as soon as they do the attack, just walk out and hit them once. Now I'm just gonna keep on walking behind the wall. Make sure that guy's getting closer to the wall and just keep on repeating. Walk away a little bit. Walk away a little bit. That guy's gonna get closer. Walk away a little bit. As you can see, he's just getting closer and like that. This is how you can deal with these zombies. Again, you can use a torch here. Very, very cheap and effective, just like so. All of them are dead, and we have officially passed the icy junkyard. I'm gonna get rid of those. Okay, we got our pans back. Nice. Got a med kit. I'll sack that. And we got some glue. I think I'll take the glue, actually. I'll just stack that. So we fully cleared Icy Junkyard. There's nothing left here. There's only one box left here, which I will definitely loot. Use one slasher for this. And we got a road sign. Uh, let's delete. I don't know what to delete. Why do I still have this Icy Pickaxe? Didn't I just use it? I mean, I'm, I'm going to delete the Icy Pickaxe. I don't need it. I'll just take the road sign instead for that. There is one round light that I could take as well, and I don't know what to delete for it. Maybe use bees for now. All right, let's leave. I like when they add new music whenever there's a new area event. It just makes the game more alive, dude, instead of that same old red zone music, you know? So we got a lot of lights, right? What we're going to do with these lights is decorate the gunsmith's house. So let's do that. Fill up. Boom, we have enough. Now we need 10 ropes. How do we get ropes? Inbox, maybe. Spare parts. Do we have rope? Yes, we do. 10 rope. Put it in. Okay, so we need round lights, which is what I don't have, sadly. So to get these round lights, you need to do factory. Another thing is, since we got 11 copper pipes, let's now connect this right there. That is what we're going to do. We will get exactly one pipe left, and I'm going to put the rest over here. And that, that's how we're just going to connect things like this, like that, boom, boom, boom. And like this, like that. Then, and it's done. That's all you need to do. We can skip this part. You don't have to connect there. So that's it. And since we connected the pipes now, um, we need to talk to the healer. The healer is located in this house. I believe not everyone got away from the wildlings in one piece. We arranged a hospital for the wounded. They always need help down there. Come and see what you can do. So this is the healer task. Whenever you connect the pipes and heat the houses, you basically just uh, unlock a new task to do for that specific NPC, like this guy. If you connect house, the pipes to this house right here, you're also going to get a task for that NPC. So let's go down the basement. And here we gotta examine the chest. Very fast looting, by the way. Stuff that we get here, we have to give it to the NPC, so let's do that. All right, bandage for user, alcohol for user. Thank you for doing your part. You can take everything from the chest in my house. That was a very simple and easy task right there. Very easy and simple task that we had to finish. Okay, once you complete that, we go back in the chest here. We'll find some loot that you can claim. I don't need these. I do need the reanimator though. Uh, bandages don't have space for this. Inhalers don't have space. Although I'll take the inhalers, I guess. Get rid of the rope because we won't need that. So yeah, now we have to decorate the healer's house. And basically, it's just gonna continue for the rest of the NPC houses. And you have literally, what, 10 days to do this. So you'll have more than enough days to finish this event. So since there's nothing left to do here, because I cannot connect the house here or the house here. So now what we're gonna do is prepare ourselves to go to the factory. So another thing you need to know is doing the farm will give you blue lights. Doing motel will give you red lights and colorful lights. Doing factory will give you round lights. And doing bunker alpha will give you star... We will need these transistors to go in here. Also, the reason I brought an iron hatchet is because of, um, you know, these oak trees that there is on factory. So I'm literally going to chop the trees down here for that oak logs. Because why not? I'm too lazy to grind them in the oak zones. The only frustrating part was that the zombies were interrupting my oak farming. So I had to literally kill them all using this machete. 
You can actually wall check the zombies near the main entrance as well, but I'm just too lazy to do so. Just uh, start uh, clearing up some zombies over here. That's why we got our saw blade. Boom. Fully modded saw blade, by the way. Uh, not fully. We have a Diablo and ergonomic handle. We're missing the engine on it, but still very good, good mods on it. I will not be able to crash tag this guy, so... Okay, maybe I will be. That's nice. That's cool. I'll do that. Okay, since we're doing factory, this is going to be my first time um, looting this box here on this event. So let's see if it gives us round lights. And it does not give you round lights. Gonna definitely kill you. Gonna wall check these zombies here. Like so. Wait for this attack. Wait for that guy's attack. Keep on hitting him. Like that. Two more hits. And you're dead. Fix that. Main entrance. Main entrance. Open. I am here to chop your hamburger looking hands, bruh. Alright, one crouch for you, sir. I mean, all I need to do is just do a crouch tech and just finish him off with this machete, which is nice. Very lovely mods that I've got here. I need a crowbar, so let's use that. And I'm just looting everything real quick. I do have to aggro this guy and then walk away a little bit. It's gonna kill him with a crowbar here. Now I'm gonna wall check him here because... It's gonna... I just don't want to waste my armor and my heals. I do have self-healing that I can use. But... It's whatever. Okay, let's do... There you go. Perfection. Can double hit this guy. Bada bing boom. Okay, so open this door here. We're gonna crouch as soon as I do that. Um, I messed up. I was very slow at crouch tanking that guy. Okay, so turn off the gas. We need to flip this valve. Let's also open the door here. Yep, for you, my friend. For you, specifically for you, I opened that door. So you can run in and die in front of me. There is another room that we have to turn it off in, which is here. There is zombies here. It's gonna hit this guy in the face, run away, and boom. That guy's also dead. As long as I don't take damage, I'm fine. Now we need to turn off this, open the door here, put in the transistor here, and all the gas is now off. Let's also loot this as well. And we got some round lights from that chest. So we're gonna actually try doing everything here. Now I'm gonna go in, in and in and in. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with this the rough way, I guess. I'm gonna have to tank their damage, otherwise there's no other way. I don't think here is possible, because I'm literally getting damage from the gas, so... It's gonna take a little bit of damage here. I do have self-healing, so I'm gonna use that to heal up. And heal up. There you go. Open this door. Okay, there's actually no mobs here. But there is gas there, so I'm gonna have to go here, deactivate this, go back in all the way here. I am not sure what I deactivated. There's another switch here, so deactivate that. We turned off the electricity. Now we slip this switch, gas, off for this room. Now we open this. I am gonna crouch attack you, sir. Like that. Then I'm gonna... Okay, saw blade that guy. Hit him once. There's still gas here, by the way. That guy does a lot of damage. Sadly, he does a lot of damage. Okay, we're gonna go back in this room here. This is not a wall check, by the way, so... This is a wall check here, but I have gas damage. Okay, well, I'll just wall check this guy here as long as it works. I'll wall check him here. That should work. Perfectly fine. On 50 HP or below 50... Wait, how many, How is he hitting me? There you go. He's now going to explode. I'm going to run away. And the parasites are easy to deal with. So I'll just basically smack them in the face. Which is fine. There is a switch here. I can turn off the gas. I actually forgot about that. There you go. So we did not get any round lights in the basement. The generator goes in for that additional box. And to open that additional box, you have to put the generator into this uh, thing right there that I just did. Let's wall check this guy, and just let's just see if we get our round lights or not. 
There's one more zombie that I have to kill, and it's an exploder. Are you serious? I seriously don't want to kill this guy just for a chest. I guess I'll have to. He's gonna explode. And I'm just gonna... We're just gonna find out if this box has the uh, round lights or not. If not, that's completely fine. Yeah, he it has only antenna, which is what I actually do need. So I'm definitely taking that antenna. Let's go back up. And there's our second box. Again, you have to put the generator into that uh, generator thing. Generator into generator. And look at that. We did not get anything for that. So I, I don't think you get round lights from the second box. You only get it from the first box, which was this box, pretty much. Um, there's another switch here, so let's do that. Maybe this is going to give something. Yes, it does indeed. So we got one round light from this box. And there is another box that you can activate, which is here. You have to kill additional zombies for that, though. A uh, saw blade for that guy. I'll just kill him with my gun. And then saw blade for this dude. Because, hey, season points, man. Why not? So let's see what this is going to give us. Forklift goes down. Loot is mine. Round light. Oh my god. Okay, so you do get round lights from these boxes, which is nice. So do not miss these boxes, chat. Guys, do not miss out on these boxes. They do give round lights. That's what we need them for. So now you know which box gives what. We're good to go. We can leave now. Back to the hidden ridge farm. We're finally back here, but the heating is much more comfortable inside, you say. Okay, so we needed the round lights. We got the round lights for this guy. Boom. Finalize. And for doing that, as you can see, it says reputation earned. As soon as I decorate this house, it gives me a uh, reputation for that. So we will have to decorate literally six houses. We already decorated one house, so five left to go. And here, all the, you know, extra lights that you have, you can put them inside here. However, I'm not going to do that yet because we have not decorated all the houses. And the healer's house is going to require... Let's see, what are you going to need, man? You need 10 round lights, pretty much. So I guess you're going to get that right there. And the rest we're going to finish in the next video, I guess. Stay tuned for that, guys. And thank you for watching. That's it for this video. Hope you uh, enjoyed and learned something new today. And all of you free-to-play players out there and beginner players, stay tuned for more videos because, you know... Uh, this is my free-to-play account if you're wondering and we do everything in this game without spending a single cent so if you want to watch my other guys such as bunker bravo bunker alpha how to do it without weapons without guns or arena how to do arena without guns make sure to check out my other videos that are in the playlist and yeah once again thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace out